Hi everybody, it's Suzanne from Suzanne's iHeart Video Poker. I'm back at the Rampart and uh, gonna play some single play action. Uh, I, uh, I I did not, I know you were all worried about me getting back roomed and roughed up at the uh, South Point, but rest assured I'm doing uh, fantastic as ever and ready to uh, win, uh, have a winning session here uh, back at the good old Rampart. Okay, back at the Rampart, I just put in 100. We're gonna go to dollar bonus poker. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up a bit by mixing it up a bit uh, with game choice. So I'm gonna, my goal is to get up uh, 10, 20 bucks, mix it up for a few hands, and then come back to our uh, baseline uh, bonus poker. Here we go. Uh, I thought we might start with at least two pair all day. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, go for straight flush there. So much for the uh, up twenty. I quickly found myself down twenty. Uh, but uh, hey, uh, I knowingly put my money in, and that's often how the cookie crumbles. All right, 33. Thank you. Do you have a bottle of water as well? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, 77, okay, I'll take one of the above. All right, we're looking for a niner niner. Kings, easiest ones. What do y'all think the easiest four of a kind is? I believe if you watch a lot of my videos, I believe I have made the case for kings. <laughs> uh, but tell me what you all think. All right, eke that out with a jack. Take a jack again. And a jack again. Ooh, I thought maybe that was gonna roll off for me. I think you might have as well. Let me get a sip of my coffee here. So uh, in my time, maybe not the video time, we are, come on, open-ended, jack. Ugh. I always find like statistically or mathematically, I guess, it would have been easier to get a jack, assuming I don't already have one, but I find it crazy when you have an open-ended. I swear you always get one of the cards that you already have, which is mathematically tougher than just getting one of the open-ended cards. Uh, anyways, uh, I did some homework before the Oscars on, uh, on uh, Sunday. Uh, I don't, you, you may have heard reference to me seeing, uh, you know, playing some video poker before heading to the movies and uh, checking out uh, movies. Um, and uh, so anyways, I like the movies. You, you all may already know that. Um, and uh, I, uh, the, the, the Oscars is, on, is my version of Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, uh, even though I'm from uh, North uh, Canton, Ohio, home of the Football Hall of Fame, I'm not really that into football. I haven't watched a Super Bowl in I can't tell you how long. I think you've heard in another one of my videos, Super Bowl Sunday is absolutely the best shopping day of the year. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so I did some homework before the Oscars with some uh, Oscar-nominated Best Picture category movies uh, that I hadn't seen yet. And I do have a couple of recommendations based on that. Come on, Tens, I need you to stay in business here. Two pair, I'll take it. Um, and uh, that is if you haven't seen a movie called The Holdovers, that's a movie with Paul Giamatti, who if you look him up, I know you've seen him before in TV and movies. He's a great actor. Uh, and uh, 
really a great all-around movie. Uh, it is a drama overall, but it has a lot of uh, funny moments, sweet moments, heartfelt moments, um, thoughtful moments, and uh, I think you all would enjoy that. So check out The Holdovers if you haven't. Oh, um, come on, queen, 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 queen. Okay, take aces instead. That's our first dealt uh, two pair, isn't it? To put us back at half of our money. Ah. Um, and then I did watch uh, one of the smaller films uh, nominated for Best Picture. And that was called Anatomy of a Fall. Um, and uh, actually it was really uh, interesting. It's a little harder to give a, a recommend to. Um, it's just um, probably a little slower, uh, not as much action uh, as a lot of movies but great acting, uh, interesting subject matter, uh, really talked or touched upon a lot of issues but in a marriage um, and the ups and downs of it and uh, uh, set uh, upon a crime scene and a potential murder investigation. And uh, ooh, we really needed that to be closed right there to be an eight um great acting uh so that is the second or the third time my filming has literally just stopped um okay that's crazy it just stopped again while i was talking about the issue of stopping so i may have to full pause to check my settings um, but I think I may have to take my phone uh, back or have it checked out by Apple. Um, it's uh, just stopped a few times now while filming. Luckily, I've noticed it. It's not quite like when uh, in the old days, uh, the phone line used to be uh, disconnected and you would just keep talking for a long time. Oh man, I've had that happen to me a lot. Usually I'm the victim of it. All right, we need to fill up. All right. Uh, let's stay back in business here with sevens. With sevens. <laughs> that certainly looked like that was coming, wasn't it? Anyways, another movie that um, it's interesting. It's both a recommended and do not recommended or not recommended. Um, still can't, uh, still got those sevens. And that is Maestro, the one with Bradley Cooper, kind of his swan song. Uh, he uh, directed it, I believe, uh, helped or uh, wrote the uh, screenplay. Um, and it is a. Uh, autobiographical movie about the uh, conductor and musician um, or composer I guess you should say uh, Leonard Bernstein and uh, most people it's a little um, kind of almost couture film uh, a little highbrow for a lot of people probably to really relax enjoy and find entertaining let's get this J ah, I'll take it um, but it was beautifully shot, uh, really beautifully filmed. Um, and on top of that, the makeup on Carrie Mulligan, who is the co-star, and Bradley Cooper aging is so remarkable. It is so well done. To me, it was a, a travesty that it did not win freaking Oppenheimer, which don't even get me started uh, on that. Uh, Oppenheimer won and um, uh, Maestro blew it out of the water in terms of uh, makeup uh, on an aging character. Absolutely blew it out of the water. 
Uh, if you've already seen Oppenheimer and you have time to look at Maestro and get back to me and I believe confirm what I'm saying there, um, it uh, was crazy that it didn't win for uh, best makeup. Overall, again, a, a, a very well done film that I can't necessarily recommend you all run out and see because it's just, um, it's not necessarily the most uh, entertaining movie. Wow, that brings us back to even. Let's, uh, let's make some dough and change up the game. There we go. We did the right thing and we uh, doubled our money because of that. I am back at my uh, favorite machine. This is the one that I said you treat well and you love on versus the guy who was beating it up and it will treat you right. And that's where the one video I doubled my money in a few minutes and then the other video I got that $8,000 Royal. Oh, how tasty was that? Mm, man, fantastic. It's uh, funny, I was just <clears throat> talking to someone the other day. It's, it's really something with a Royal. When you, when you actually get it, it's like the easiest thing in the world. You, you just hit the button like you do every other time. It's, it's, it's literally no harder in terms of the work you put in. Um, whew, uh, it's easy. Oh, I, man, I should have had that. Um, oh, there you go. Rub it in my face, fours. Um, but then the moments passed, you get paid, and then it, it becomes the hardest thing in the world again. Just the hardest thing. And you're just like, I'm never gonna get one again. I don't know, at least I feel that way. I don't know how y'all feel. 88, 88. I don't need a 99, I just need a nine. <laughs> There's my eight. Two pair all day, I'll take it. Two pair will keep you in business in this game and really, that's all I want. I want to stay in business until I am fortunate enough to hit that royal. I need a four of a kind here. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. four of a kind if we can't hit a flush? somehow just know when you're not gonna get a hand. That happens to me when I misfire. I hit the deal wrong, draw wrong. 
And I just know that I, I'm not gonna get it when I hit it again. I feel like it's kind of like, uh, I used to play craps when I was younger and I lived away from Las Vegas. I'd come and play. Kind of like when, uh, oh, somebody else is rolling and they roll and, and literally they knock over a chip stack at the end and you just know, you just know it's gonna be a seven. And uh, speaking of seven out, I'm out. Uh, let me pick another machine and get going again. Okay, I decided to sit down at a uh, Ultimate X machine. We're gonna play a little bit of quarter uh, bonus poker Ultimate X. So it's $7.50 a hand. We may need to drop down to 10 cents here. I'm gonna put credits to money, 100 bucks in. Let's go. Eh, that's all right. We want to wait to get aces to have a multiplier, right? Uh, this is a game where we do hold the inside straight. Come on, fours. Okay. Got a little piece of that. And let's get some sevens. Ah. All right. Multipliers on this hand. Uh, okay. Fours. Okay. Money back. No money back. King me, king me, king me. All right, two pair. Again, this is where, in this game, you're, you're, you're putting so many extra coins in. So this is where we're, we're putting 10 coins per hand instead of five. So we're paying double. Uh, it's so important to try to get your money back with the two pair. And that's why I, I really only play bonus poker on this game. When you do hit a hand with multipliers, it's exciting enough. I don't miss the fact that I'm not playing double-double or something like that, and I have more chances, hey, nice, at hitting those hands uh, when my money lasts longer. We're gonna go for a queen. No. Nope. And we're gonna go for a 10. So again, not only would you keep a gut shot if you didn't have over cards, but here we have any jack, any queen, or any 10. Ooh, we need to catch something. Wow, that is a catch, drawing a full house. That qualifies as a catch. Now we need to catch three kings up where it pays 12 times. Oh, 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 oh. Wasted multipliers. Ace, ace, ace. Okay, I guess we got it an ace where we wanted it. Now we need kings and queens where we want it. Nope. Caught a piece of that. Caught a piece of that. I'll take money back on this game. But you can see we were up 20, 27 dollars and big, big swings on this game. That's for sure. Really big swings. Ooh. Uh, boy. You know what? Three times multiplier. Oh, let's go for it. And we did the right thing. Fives, no fives. Three, 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 three. Full house. Now we want some threes or some eights. 
Ah, that's where it just actually hurts to get nothing on that multiplier. It is actually painful, painful. Wow. Two hearts? Ah, I shouldn't even ask. Shouldn't even have asked. Fives. Oh boy. Ace. Six. I'll take it. Whoa, there we go. 120 coins. We needed that. All right, 60 coins. We needed that. Okay, money back. We'll take it. Sixes. Ooh, dumpster hand. Ooh. Queen, 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 queen. I should have given the uh, disclaimer, Ultimate X, I'm not as confident on my play as uh, other games. Um, I did practice a little bit the other day at videopoker.com, who I wish I had an endorsement with, because uh, it does show you the gold and pro versions does give you... Um, uh, 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 does give you information on their game. So uh, anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna move on, probably shoot another video. Um, but uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think I can do to help grow and improve my channel. Thanks so much for watching Suzanne's iHeart Video. Post.